Okay, so the first lure is a Brad's Magnum Wiggler. Hot pink, which chums love for sure. And here comes a chum salmon taking a look. He's going to take a swipe at it, but he doesn't commit. He's still kind of interested, sort of casually, and then he drifts off. Something wasn't quite right. So here's another cast. Plops it in, Brad's pink. Dr. Death color is uh, wiggling enticingly along the bottom. And let's see who comes along here, another chum. Takes a look, takes a kind of a half-hearted swipe, and then says, pass. And his buddy's back there, another chum, is just kind of casually interested. He's, he's attracted by the wiggle, but just something wasn't quite right. So we throw it in again, and there's a chum that took a you know, just kind of a passing glance. And then right here, we've got a little Jack Chinook. There's a bigger Chinook back there that's not interested at all, but that Jack came in and took a look a little bit. So we switch colors, and this time we go to a Yakima bait, fat fish, same size, but silver and chartreuse, which is a great king color. And lo and behold, all of a sudden a king comes out of nowhere and takes a look. Not interested quite enough, right? So this is getting frustrating, aye, aye, aye. So we throw it out again, and there's a chum, and there's a, another chum, and she's kind of, whoa, takes a look at it, and we almost snagged her in the dorsal there, she made a pass, and there's a Dolly Varden there on the left. Now getting lots of interest still, but not anybody willing to take that extra step. Another Chinook, loves that chartreuse. Can't resist, oh, uh, yeah, yeah, he can. <laughs> so, on and on it goes. Here's another Chinook, yeah, nope, 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 not gonna do it, not gonna do it. So, on and on it goes, another chum comes along and says, uh, no thank you, hard pass. Well, it was kind of a soft pass, actually, took a look. Another chum, Salmon, comes up, and no, no. And and you, you sense in a trend here, right? I mean, it was like this all day. Ooh, we almost got him in the dorsal right there, too. So on and on it goes. So what's the deal here? Well, I think as, as we talked earlier, there's, there's um, size, color, vibration, and uh, silhouette, all those kind of things. Well, in this particular case, I think it had everything to do with scent. More specifically, a lack of scent. And as you saw over and over and over again, these fish made half-hearted passes, little swipes, they followed kind of casually, and they just didn't commit to the lure. And I think if we'd had some sort of stink sauce on there, they may have been more interested in going the full Monty and, and attacking the bait. So with this style lure, these crankbaits, you can add one of the many, many, many commercial scents to it. And um, every company has its own line of products and sort of different things, but most of them have oils, they have sticky kind of liquids, they have sort of waxy type roll-on stuff. And in, in this case, I would go with something other than the oil. The oil's gonna wash off pretty quick. So something with a little more staying power. Now I personally like Procure, but there's a lot of good companies out there that make good scents. Now as far as specific scents go, there's a lot of different choices, and, and it depends on the day, the river, where you are, what you're fishing for, but uh, in this particular case, I think I would throw something like a sand shrimp, a salmon egg, sometimes salmon like garlic, believe it or not, uh, sardine, herring, anchovy, or a mixture of some of those. You just gotta play around with it a little bit, but in any case, I think whatever scent you use is gonna be better than no scent in what we just saw, right? Of course, when we're using larger plugs like flatfish, quickfish, maglips, and the like, we can fillet a sardine or herring or mackerel, whatever you have, preferably fresh, <laughs> make sure it's in good shape, fillet it, put it on the underside of the plug, wrap it on tight with stretchy thread, and uh, that's really the best way to add fresh scent. But if you can't do that, go with the bottle. And I think if we had done one of those, we would have ended up with a little more success that afternoon. Give it a try. Thanks for watching. Again, hit the subscribe button if you like what you see, and uh, we'll catch up to you next time.